Hi kids, welcome back. Today we're gonna learn the dance of the planets. This is gonna be such a great video. Let's get started. As you guys can see, these are beautiful planets. Can you spot the Earth, our planet, our home planet? And can anybody tell me what the bright side shows and what the dark side might show? Yes, the bright side is the sun and the dark side is where we usually get the moon. So how do planets move around the sun? This is Earth, you're right. This is our beautiful planet. And do you see how the light shifts from one side and it goes around? Well, let's learn how it does that. An orbit is the planet of a planet that takes as it moves around the sun and our stars. You guys, it's very important to know that the Earth moves around the sun. Each planet in our solar system follows an elliptical orbit similar to a circle. They all move in counterclockwise direction around the sun. It is a direction opposite of movement of a hand and a clock. Some orbits are closer to the sun, some are further away. I want all of you to think, if a planet is close to the sun, what does that mean? And if the planet is further away from the sun, what does that mean? Yes, if it's closest to the sun, that planet is very hot. Good job. And if it's further away, that planet is very, very cold. You're all so smart. And this affects how long a planet needs to complete its orbit. Mercury and Venus are the closest to the sun. Means they are the hottest planets. Their orbits are shorter than Earth's which means that they have shorter years than our beautiful planet. As you guys can see, Mercury has 88 days, while Venus has 225 days. Earth, our planet, on average takes 365 days, which is one year, and six hours to complete its orbit. This is what we call a year. So a year is 365 days and six hours. Mars and Jupiter are further from the sun, allowing them to have longer years than Earth. Mars has 687 days while Jupiter has 4,333 days. Isn't that fascinating? Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are even further out. Their orbits are much larger. And it means if they have a larger orbit, that means the years are going to be longer to complete. Saturn has 10,756 days. Uranus has 30,687 days. And Neptune has 60,190 days. What is the invisible force that keeps these planets in our orbit? Does anybody know? You're right, sun's gravity is responsible for keeping the planets in orbit. 
if the sun suddenly lost its gravity today, what do you think would happen? Let's think of this way. We're all walking every day, and when we jump, we come back and we stand. What causes that? It's the gravity. So what would happen if the sun loses its gravity? I want all of you all to remember that the planets all move counterclockwise around the sun. Some planets are close to the sun, some are further away, and this will affect how long it will take for them to complete a year. Gravity keeps planets in orbit around the sun. How could you model the movement of planets around the sun using only materials found at home? I want all you guys to pick out a book, your balls, any type of tool you might have, and create the orbit. Pick the sun the biggest, and then pick your planets, and tell me which is further away and which is close. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more educational videos. I am so proud of you all. See you all very soon. Bye.